Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about a specific topic and this is because this video has been requested and I've received a couple of questions related to what I'm going to be talking about today. So instead of posting an angel series video, I'm going to be talking about this topic today, which is about deepening your angelic connection and what might be serving as a blockage on that journey, okay? So one of the reasons why I'm doing this too is because this week I wasn't feeling so well, so I didn't really have time to really dedicate to um, tuning into the information that I needed to do the next Angel Series video, so I figured this would be a good substitute anyway. It's still on the same topic and um, I think it's still good and it could still be helpful to people. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so when it comes to the angelic journey, first, of, first thing I want to say is that I already have a video on this topic about getting in contact with the angels and calling them in. So I'm going to link it to this video so you can watch it if you have not already. Because when I was sifting through this information and kind of reflecting on it, I realized that when it comes to information that I can give you, when it comes to connecting to the angels, I've pretty much given you all I can <laughs> when it comes to tips and recommendations. I, I mean, I've given as much as I really can when it comes to that. So I wanted to touch upon some things that may be serving as a blockage when it comes to this journey, okay? So one of the things that I will mention first is that some people have asked me in what ways they could strengthen their angelic connection, make it more palpable and strengthen it in such a way where they could really start to feel and sense the angels. Um, some people are wondering how I've gotten to the point that I have on my journey when it comes to my angelic connections. And I'm going to touch upon very briefly, as briefly as I can, um, my personal journey and how I've gotten to this point. I'm not going to take you through a timeline, but I'm just going to give you some hot points on my journey so you have a better understanding. Uh, when it comes to my journey, I want to say that this, this has all started from the beginning of my life, what I believe to be the beginning of my life. I believe that my ability to connect with higher, higher level energies, whether it be angels or, or star beings, goddess energies, ascended masters, I feel that this is a part of why I am here. I don't feel like it's the only reason, but I feel that my ability to do so is part of why I've been put here, okay? So I feel like that's really, it's really important to consider because, <laughs> where do I even start? So th this started from the very beginning because spirituality and the spiritual journey is something that I've always been called to from as far back as I can remember. And I feel like I was placed in a family that could trigger that connection in me very early, okay? Now everyone's path is different. Some people are born in certain families that trigger that connection. Some people are not and they have to go on their own personal journey in order to discover that. But for me, I was placed in a family that triggered that connection in me. Now, it's very different than my personal connection now, but whatever I was exposed to as a child helped me to, to be able to trigger that, to, to trigger those memories within myself. Okay, so this started from very a very early age. And I knew very early on, even if it didn't really express itself the way it is now, that I wanted to help people spiritually, okay? So I'm telling you this because it's, it's important to know that what you're called to from a very early age 
tends to be part of what you are put on this earth to do. Like I said, everyone's multifaceted, so there may be several things. I know for me, there are several things that I'm called to and several things that I can offer if I choose to. But when it comes to spiritual development and spiritual connection and helping people to act, um, activate or facilitate a spiritual connection within themselves, I know that's a huge part of why I'm here. So... Another reason why I'm sharing this with you is because, because, <laughs> because this is why I feel that I've been put here, it, it has become, or it, it has been a huge part of my life, okay? So this, this whole journey, this is my life, okay? It may manifest in different ways at different times, I don't know. So it may not always look and seem spiritual. And, you know, we all, people have a tendency to put spirituality in a box. Like spirituality means you like crystals or you're tuning into angels or you're talking to goddesses or you hold a goddess circle or, and it doesn't have to be like that. It's spirituality is your spiritual expression is what you want to express. It's whatever your heart calls for. So if at any point, let's say you wanted to go and I don't know, let's say you wanted to work as a sanitation person. If your heart is calling for that, that's a part of your journey. That's a part of how you're expressing your spirituality because it's authentic. Okay. So to me, spirituality and authenticity, they go hand in hand. Okay. So what I'm saying is that my expression of spirituality in this lifetime in terms of connecting with these beings and being in a state of embodiment of my what <laughs> the goal my higher self that's that's my life you know that's what i dedicate myself to that has that has been what has pretty much consumed my journey for the longest time and I feel that however things happened over this period of time from birth until now has led me to this point. Okay. So I feel like because of that, it takes a certain amount of dedication as well as sacrifice. Okay. So I've had to sacrifice a lot to get to where I am today. And when I say sacrifice, I mean having to go through a great deal of turmoil, having to go through a great deal of upheaval on, on different levels, emotional and physical, and always being tested or always feeling like I'm being tested, always feeling like I can't just allow my fears to control me. I have to face them and deal with them. Um, you know, going through this period, these periods of reflection and, and having to deal with my shadow, all of that stuff takes a great deal of commitment and sacrifice. And I'm not, this is something that is just a part of the expression of my journey. It's not like I'm trying to deal with certain things or I'm trying to, this is what my, I guess my higher self or my purest being is bringing me to, it's always bringing me to the point of, okay, you have to face this, you gotta deal with this, you know, you can't allow this stuff to consume you. Um, you know, always being in the state of needing to be in alignment with my heart. That's everything for me. So um, I'm mentioning this because I feel like it really goes hand in hand with my ability to bring forth messages from the angels the way that I can is, you know, the angels have a very strong and powerful energy. If we view them as messengers of the divine, of the creator, they are extensions of the creator, just like we are. We're just, you know, more physical, we're dense. And if we see the angels as being extensions of the divine and being those, those expressions of the energies that we're around all the time, if you look at the archangels and how they express themselves, they're really just manifestations of those different divine manifestations. I don't know if I'm making sense. But 
those energies are very strong. They're very powerful. And in order for me to be able to communicate with them and sit in those energies the way that I can, there has to be a certain level of <laughs> soul healing that takes place. So in order for me to be able to embody those energies or to be able to transmit those energies uh, through this container, there has to be a certain level of purity and there needs to be a certain level of um, spiritual development in order for me to be able to do that, okay? So, and that, like I said, that, <laughs> that the, the journey, in order to make that stuff happen, in order for that, not make, but in order, for, in order for that stuff to flow through me has required that for me, okay? That's been a requirement in my life, okay? I mean, I didn't necessarily know this is what I was going to be doing. Um, I knew I was going to be doing some sort of spiritual work, but I didn't know it was going to be exactly like this. So I didn't know that's what I was being prepared for, but I feel like everything that I've gone through has been preparation for where I am now and where I will be going next, okay? So that will take me, that takes me to the next point that I wanna make when it comes to what may be blocking you in terms of deepening your angelic connection is you want to ask yourself, what, what is your intention when it comes to connecting to the angels? How far do you want to go when it comes to connecting to the angels on a deeper level? Because there's, there's different levels of angelic connection, okay? So you, there's kind of like a very mild and kind of detached form of connection where you're just communicating with them in terms of like kind of like speaking out loud. You know, you're just kind of speaking out loud to them like you would if you were talking to the creator. There's that kind of connection and that's fine. I feel like that's that's like the average connection is just kind of like speaking to them like you would a person that's not there, <laughs> that's not there physically, okay? And then there's other kinds of connections too where you might, you might sense them a little bit. There's that where like, okay, you might sense that there's something in the room with you. You might feel them kind of manifest energetically. There's that kind of connection too, where you're starting to sense them a little bit more. And then there's much deeper connections where you're, when you're working with them, you're actually taking on their energy and you're expressing it through your own being, okay? So those different levels of connection have different levels of intensity and they tend to be a little bit more demanding spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. So there are certain things that you are not going to be able to take with you when it comes to those kinds of connections. So if you, if you desire a very deep connection with the angels, first of all, ask yourself why, <laughs> okay? What, what is the purpose of the desire that you have for that deep level of connection? And I'm not questioning, I'm not questioning your, I'm not questioning your intention, but I feel like it's important for you to question your intention, okay? Um, because if, if <laughs> your intention aligns with anything that is in the realm of ego, Okay, you're you're asking for trouble. Okay, I'm not say anything bad's gonna happen to you, but like I said, the path is very demanding, and you know, and whatever I have sacrificed on this journey, I I have done because of my dedication to this path, and because I know it's it's what I want. It's something that I genuinely want. It's a pure desire that I have is this connection. And, you know, it's not because, it, you know, I want to have this connection because, no, I know this is who I am, then that's it. There, there is no because. <laughs> that's just it. Okay, it's, it's, for, it's for its own sake. Okay, so, you know, if you ask yourself, you know, what is the desire, what is the reason behind this desire to connect with the angels very deeply? Um you know, see, see where your intentions land. Okay. And if you really do have a pure desire, that's, that's great. You know, then 
take he'll take you back to that video that I will post here um, so you can watch that and then you know do what you need to do in order to facilitate those deeper connections where you can really feel them and you know really experience them on a deeper level okay so that takes me to the next point are you attached to your connection to the angels are you attached to building that connection with the angels and one of the reasons why i ask this is because attachment when it comes to the spiritual path is like i feel like it's such a block it can be such a block because anything that we are attached to too much tends to run from us i, I did that's just something that i've observed is that if we are too attached to something it's almost like we can't get it and it's like attachment of like a really deep level of attachment comes from an ego mindset because it comes from a place of fear. It comes from a place of fearing that we cannot establish the connection. So when we become really attached to something, we fear that it won't happen or if we do have the attachment or if we do have the connection that we'll lose it, okay? So we have to look at those areas that if we're really, you know, if we're coming from a place where we're trying to establish a connection with the angels and we're coming from this place, you know, I just don't understand why it's not happening and why I'm having such a hard time and why it can't just happen already, that actually shifts our energy to the point where we're actually moving further out of alignment with them because they can't connect to us if we're in that mindset. We can have a desire to connect with them, but if we become too attached, that actually brings us, it actually makes us heavier. So it brings us out of alignment with them. So if there is any recommendation that I have in this video today, it is that you remove your attachment to connecting with them. Have the desire, but be open to the process of connection and be open to, any kind of connection that you can build with them and its process of, un excuse me, sorry, and its process of unfoldment in your own life personally, okay? So um, I feel like this is imperative to know that an angelic connection cannot be forced. No connection with any kind of, whether it be an angel, star being, goddess, ascendant master, that cannot be forced, okay? Because timing is very important, which basically means it's not about, oh, at 9.58 p.m., this is the connection I'm going to have. It's not about the exact time. It's more so about where you are in your life. So wherever you are in your life is going to be very important when it comes to making these kinds of connections because if you are not spiritually, emotionally, mentally, whatever, if you're not ripe, you know, that can really throw things off, okay? So sometimes you have to learn a certain kind of lesson first. You know, sometimes you have to go through certain experiences first before you make this kind of connection. So where you are in your life and the timing is so important when it comes to making these connections. So this is why it's so vital that you don't have any kind of attachment to this process because we can't always see the bigger picture. We're not always going to be able to see why, like, okay, you know, I haven't been able to establish this kind of connection. Um, and sometimes we take it personally, like, oh, it, has, it must be me. It's something I'm doing wrong. It's, it's not necessarily about that. It's about alignment and things being happening at the right place, in the right place, at the right time, you know, in the right energy energetic resonance you know sometimes that's really all it is so now if you watch my video on calling in the angels and you know that resonates with you and you do that what i want to remind you is that all these things that i'm recommending to you it's the same thing they can't be done it's like okay you know I'm, I'm doing this because I want to do, I want to have a strong connection with the angels. Do it if it calls to you. If you feel like you have a pure intention to connect with them and just build your relationship with them, then yes, you know, do these things. So if you have a strong connection to the spirit realm purely, then do what you got to do. But just, just make sure that the intention is not coming from a very attached or like, um, like an, uh, 
a place where you want some sort of exchange, like, because that's a common thing too, um, with people that want to connect to higher level energies, they, they expect it to be kind of an exchange thing. Like, oh, if I connect to this being, then I will get to a place where it's like, okay, where I'm no longer experiencing this or I'm no longer feeling this. First and foremost, the angels cannot keep you from experiencing certain things in your life. Anything that you're meant to learn in this lifetime or experience in this lifetime, you're going to learn and experience it. The angels just provide you support and they provide you um, guidance along the way. But, you know, they're not going to take anything out of your path that's meant to be there. Okay, so just so you know that. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, I had stuff written down that I was going to say, but I watched my video again and I'm like, I already said all these things. All right. So just watch that video, you know, take those steps if you feel called and guided and you know, that's it. <laughs> and just be open to the process. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful to you in some sort of way. Um, I'll be back soon with more videos. I have tons more to share with you. Always lots to share, which I'm grateful for. And I send you all my love and gratitude. So take care. Bye-bye.